Hey guys, it's Maite. Welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to review this planner for you guys today. I know I say that all the time, but I'm super excited to show you guys this today because this is actually my dream layout of a planner. Like if I thought to myself, if I could have any planner layout, this would be it. I remember thinking this to myself in bed at night and then I saw this planner and I was like, oh my God, this is it. So I can't wait to show you guys what's inside. And the team at Mom Agenda was kind enough to send this to me to review for you guys today. But before I do, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I have so many planner reviews coming your way and more planner content as well as home management content, home organization content, and my productive planning series that is coming in January. So you're not going to want to miss out on any of that stuff. I am so excited to be filming that for you guys. The productive planning series will be live in January. So stay tuned for that. I will be posting a schedule for that shortly. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you are not going to want to miss out. So let's jump into it. This is the mom agenda. It runs from July, 2020 to December, 2021. They do not do a January release. So there isn't another one of these coming. So if you like this one, you're going to have an extra six months in the planner. They only do an 18 month planner. I have the leopard cover over here. They do change their covers every year and they have other really pretty solid colors as well, as well as I believe like a faux crocodile cover. You can personalize it if you want to. I did not personalize this one. So let's get into the stats of this planner. It is seven inches across, nine inches tall. It is one inch thick. It is book bound. Do you have a 70 pound paper here, which we will get to in a mini pen test. It is not a flat lay binding. As you can see, it like comes up a little bit. You do get two beautiful, fluffy, light pink satin ribbons to mark your place. As this is bound, you do not have any tabs. And this version retails for $45. I have the mom version, which has the bright white paper. And there is a non mom version that I think has a more ivory colored paper. You can also get this in a spiral bound format. I do believe that the mom format, anybody can use it, but we will get into that a little bit later in this video. So the inside of this is beautiful. It's this pink and white design is the cover page it says mom agenda your name address and phone number as well as an introduction and so they also provide a section on how to use this book so we will get to this as we look at the weekly layout now then we get into a couple resource pages. Now again, this is geared towards moms. A lot of these resources are things that moms would really enjoy having at the front of their planner. So you have pregnancy, parenting resources, kids health and safety, communities for moms, blogs for moms, family travel, health and fitness, nutrition. So it's interesting, all of these are websites. You have product picks for moms, shopping, women's clothing, kids clothing. I love all of these stores, Land of Nod, Pottery Barn Kids. Love all of these home stores. And then we have online resources. So these are all of the airlines. These references down here, name, address, and telephone finders, newspapers, and then you have toll-free numbers. So airlines again, and credit cards lost or stolen. That's actually really helpful. If you lose your credit card or you lose your phone and your credit card is in there, this is very helpful. Hotels, motels, and resorts. And then you get to family member information at the beginning. Your information, your spouse part or partner's information, your children's information, and you also have important phone numbers here. So emergency phone numbers family, friends, and neighbors. So you have more important phone numbers here, babysitters, kids after school programs, favorite attractions. This is so helpful. <laughs> favorite restaurants, takeout activities, club leisure activities, health clubs, gyms, and salons. So this just really goes on and on. You have 
your pet groomer, your decorator, so helpful. Cleaning services, garbage pickup, recycling pickup, snow removal. So this is just like a prettier version of like a mini home planner in the beginning of this. You have contractors, repairmen, handymen, your accountant, bank, and then you have adult medical information. So as you saw in my home binder setup, which I will link in the cards above, I did have some version of this in my home binder, but this is a lot more neatly laid out. And then you have your kid's medical information here. So then you also have allergies and prescriptions, birthdays and anniversaries. And then this I love. I was actually thinking about this the other day because we have a big anniversary coming up for my in-laws. And I was like, what is the material for this anniversary? And then I was able to reference it right away. You have zodiac signs and symbols, birthstones and flowers. So if you're out buying a present for someone and you want it related to their birthstone, you know, I know you can Google it, but you still have it in front of your planner if you need it. You have your list of holidays. It gives you the previous year's holidays in 2022. And then you have your at a glance calendars. So you have 2020 here in 2021 as well. And then the beginning of the planner starts. Because this is an 18 month calendar that does not have tabs, even though it does have the pink ribbons that I showed you guys, all of the monthly pages are at the front, which obviously make a lot of sense because to try to flip back and forth in this planner would be a little difficult not knowing where you are in the planner. So all of the months are up front until you get to your weekly pages. So as you can see, you have them all together in the front. And then, after December, you get to your weekly pages. So just flipping to a page that's a little bit more current. So this is your monthly layout. Now I don't know if you guys are able to see on camera, it's picking up from my end, but the lines are blue here. This is the same for the weekly layout. So the calendar is lined, which is fantastic. I always find my handwriting is neater in calendar pages that are lined, but not many companies do line calendar pages. So as you can see here, instead of a normal sidebar, you have all of these calendars at a glance, and that is a running theme throughout this planner. It leans very heavily on at a glance calendars. So it is a Monday through Sunday calendar. So your weekends are together and they do put the holidays on the planner. I've said this a million times, you either love it or you hate it. I like it, but they do provide the holidays on the calendar for you. There's also a big quote on the monthly page as well. And that changes from month to month and week to week. So this is the weekly page and I love, 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 love this layout. Like I cannot say this enough. So here you have the week nice and big at the top. I love the font that they use. Again, you see that the blue lines are visible and you have here on the side, my week. And then you have a section for kids. One, two, three, four. And then you have a little section on the bottom for dinner. It goes across the planner. And you can see the weekends are separate in this vertical layout. You do get a quote at the top of this weekly page. You also have two at a glance calendar pages here. So the reason I love this layout so much is it kind of combines like a teacher layout or you know that layout like the happy planner had that like you have all the boxes. Plum Paper does this too, where you can see your week by section as opposed to like vertically or horizontally by time. So imagine that like this wasn't here and you had all of the sections going across the page. Now what's great about a layout like that is you can really categorize what's going on with your week. The downfall with a layout like that, which is why I had to abandon it in the past, is that it's hard to figure out when you're doing what if you wanna stay on one weekly layout. And this solves that issue because you have 
the lines of the categories here, but you also have a vertical space at the top to keep appointments or things you need to do, or you can keep the categories of what you wanna do in the order that you want to do them. So while it does say kids over here, it says it in such tiny font, you can just white it out, put washi tape over it, put a sticker over it or whatever you wanna do. And these categories can be absolutely whatever you want. It's super interesting to see your week in like two different ways combined in a layout like this. And that is why I love it. I mean, there's a million and one different things you can do with a layout like this. And I can just imagine like super neat handwriting with all of these awesome lines. So going back to the beginning of how they intended you to use this book, where the creator, Nina, actually intended a lot of these boxes to be used as a way to keep your kids' schedules in order, which makes a ton of sense because as you can see up here, she has appointments. And then on the bottom here, it has all of the things you need to keep track for each of your kids. So they have lacrosse, one has squash, then here it's yoga, blah, blah, blah. She also says in this column, I also use these spaces to remind myself of items to take to school and other activities. So that's also a great way to use the space. So I do agree this is perfect to keep schedules all in one place and just so everybody has their own little box if that's how you choose to use this layout. So that is the rest of the planner until the end of the 18 months. But in the back, you do get some of these forward planning pages for 2022. This is also like a perpetual calendar as well, but you can also jot things down that you know you need to do for the next year. You also get a substantial amount of note pages in the back. I counted, I think 45 front and back. I could be wrong, but it is very substantial the amount of note pages you get in the back, especially considering that it is a bound planner. So it's not chunky at all. And you also get a ton of note pages, which is a huge bonus in my opinion. Okay, so here's the mini pen test that I did. Of course, my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen, as well as some highlighters over here. And as you can see, there is a little bit of ghosting. It's really not that big of a deal. There's definitely no bleeding, but I can see it. It's a little bit raised when I rub my finger across it. It's what the pens look like from the other side. All right, so what are my overall thoughts about this planner before I go into who I think this planner is really for and whether I think you should buy it or not? So my one thing to mention is that I really wish that these forward planning pages for 2022 were actually in the front for 2021, only as like a perpetual calendar. I think that that would be fantastic. So you have these forward planning pages in the back, just put these exact same pages in the front for 2021. I think that would be awesome. But I know it's an 18 month planner, so maybe that's why, but I would love to see those in the front. I think that that would be a great addition. As I flipped through earlier in more detail, there are a ton of resources in the front. I like that it's all gathered in one place. Funnily enough, I find that the telephone numbers of hotels is actually more helpful than having the websites. The thing with the websites is websites change, your taste may be different. Like again, these are would be all of my picks, but they're not everybody's picks. So that's just something to keep in mind. And also with websites, I feel like we so heavily rely on our phone for all of these things. But I will say there are times where you get on a website and you forget what it was, or maybe you're just completely blanking out and you're having a moment. It's kind of nice to have it all in one place. This is an excellent, excellent tool. And because it's so thin, it's not heavy at all. You have 18 months in here. It looks gorgeous. I think having all of this together in one planner really does make it a really incredible on-the-go tool. So the portability for me is a huge plus. This is very much up my street. As I mentioned a hundred times, I absolutely love the layout. However, I'm not really sure why these at-a-glance calendars are here. It doesn't really bother me, but I feel like I could definitely do without it and wouldn't notice, but that's just me. As I mentioned in the monthly pages, you have a whole row of at-a-glance calendars as well as opposed to a sidebar, that's gonna be a deal breaker for some of you because I know a lot of you do really heavily use your sidebar for your monthly view. 
However, I feel like this is something that you could really lean into if you don't really use your sidebar. Like you could put color coding dots here to mark certain days that you need to or highlight certain things or really go to town with this. But that is one way that I could view someone really leaning into this calendar. I would probably prefer a normal sidebar because I can't think of exactly what I would use this for off the top of my head. Again, that's just personal preference. On to my favorite part of the video, who do I think should purchase this planner? Is it worth the money? Because you guys know I'm very, very honest with you guys about what I think about certain organization tools and who I think will really benefit from them. This is an absolute must purchase if you love this layout and you love this entire package. You absolutely must purchase this planner because it is super versatile and you just don't see a lot like it on the market. And I think it's really well done. And I think the quality of the planner is definitely there. I like this so much and I like the layout so much. I was actually trying to get this up as soon as I could for you guys because I want to use use this planner for a little bit before the new year because I think I'm heavily leaning towards using this planner for 2021. We'll talk about that in a whole separate video that I'll be doing on my planner setup. But I didn't want to write in it before I showed it to you guys. But because it's 18 months, I can jump into it already. And I do want to get a feel for the planner and see if that's a something that I want to use in 2021. So if you want to see a plan with me in this planner or an update on how I'm using this planner, please let me know in the comments because I would love to film it for you guys. Let me know in the comments as well if you plan on picking up this planner. Like this video if you liked it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. And as always, I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.